MJ from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise you that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you get cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up! Yes, here we go! Now you might be wondering why I have Mason right here for the first game of today's episode. It's because this game is actually called Mason. Mason, look, that's you. When you're older, you're that guy. There's a random cop here that says, Apparently, you haven't been cooperative with my guys, yet I still took off your cuffs, right? You were really a bad boy then. Look at that bloody baseball bat. Look at that bloody baseball bat. You did that, Mason. That's you. Whoa. <laughs> That's you, Mace. You did this. I said it a thousand times already. I am innocent, Officer Finch. Let me go. That's how you sound when you're older. Look, we are searching for the body. If we find it, you will have no choice but to tell me the truth. Mason, the fingerprints on the weapon belong to you. The only suspect is you. The only suspect is you, Mace. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, the bat is mine, but I haven't used it since high school and only during baseball games. You play baseball? I can clearly tell that you're innocent. And you're sad, and you're sad. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put you down now, alright? I'm gonna put you down. Alright, everybody, I guess I'm gonna have to do the rest of this without Mace, because I don't think that he appreciated being accused by some random cop named Finch, so... Mason, the fingerprints on the weapons belong to you. The only suspect is you. I told you, the bat is mine, but I haven't used it since high school, and only use it during baseball games. Three days ago, Ashley broke up with me, and I had to leave the house with all my stuff here, including the bat. You didn't say that during an interrogation. You had the motive. Admit it, Mason. You are done. You hear that, Mason? You're done, Mace. You're done. I am telling you this now because you took off my cuffs. I have nothing to hide. As I said, I was at the pub all night. Oh, yeah, Mace? You at the pub all night? You're not even 21 yet. You're only two years old. But I gotta ask, why isn't her new boyfriend accused of anything? He clearly hates me publicly. Her current boyfriend was out of town. He has an alibi. Now... Are we gonna pretend that you have one? I told Officer Williams about the location of the pub. He will bring the alibi and the story will end with me free of all charges. A bold act requires a high degree of confidence, which you certainly have, Mason. That's sus. <laughs> Officer Finch, sorry to interfere, but Mason was at the pub 10 hours ago. The alibi is confirmed. He is clear, sir. Thank you, Officer Williams. Please do not interrupt me next time. So, Mason, where are we? What else do you want me to say? You have no right to keep me here any longer, do you? We got your fingerprints. You chose to represent your truth without a lawyer. Now deal with the consequences. That is so dumb, Mason. You have the right to remain silent, and you will be provided an attorney if you so need one. Why didn't you ask for an attorney? You will stay here or be transferred to the cell until we find the body or recover any new information about Ashley. Fine, I won't disrespect your decision. Yet, you should know that after all this, you owe me a big freaking apology. You kiss your mother with that mouth? What happened to Mr. Confidant there, Mason? Don't worry. We have a blanket in the cell. What the hell does that even mean, copper? We have a blanket in the cell. Do you have a pillow too? 11 hour earlier. Today. Wait, is this me with a baseball bat? Yo, Mace really did this shit? Mace really rode his bike in the middle of buttfuck nowhere and did this shit? Is that Ashley? Ashley Smashley? I don't even know why I just said that. All right, should we doink her? <laughs> doink. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I doink people? Come on, Mason. You can do better than that. And that's it. So we had an alibi for 10 hours ago, but not for 11 hours ago. So Mason is guilty as charged. I knew it. I knew it, Mace. Nice. The VHS tape. Thank you for showing me that to my face. Next game of today's episode is called Night Maniac. It is one of those games where you're working at a store late at night. You all know how that goes. What kind of game? Alright. I don't know there was a little echo that followed that echo. But yeah, it's a night shift game where it's a game that contains jump scares, loud scares, loud sounds, blood, gore, violence. So if you don't like any of that, too freaking bad, you clicked on this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment 
and subscribe and what what else do youtubers say um click the bell shit retweet do everything all right do everything i'm not your typical youtuber like i'm not about that youtube life i just upload videos and we just do some bada bings bada booms okay so this is night maniac this version is a demo sounds like a church organ it's like damn Hey, when I did that, my armpit smelled hella good. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's it? Damn. Yeah, my armpit smelled hella good. I don't know what deodorant I put on, but whoo, sheesh, sheesh. This is the prologue. I still don't know what prologue means. I think that means like before the story, and then epilogue means after the story. Who cares? Just say beginning and the end. Like, shut up. So these are the controls. Make sure I don't forget. Come out of hiding. Never. I'm never gonna press E because I don't hide for shit. I'm the big bad wolf in this bitch. Butcher shop. Wanted. Steven Watson. Ugly ass. All right, this is where I work. Damn, this thing's filthy. Okay, do I clock in? Door. Open the door. Talk to David. Oh, this is David? Fuck David. What the heck? He looked like he built like a Lego. Hey, John. Do you know you're an hour early, right? Really, dude? I didn't see the time I left. I thought I would arrive on time. All right. That's good for me because I'll be leaving early. Anyway, I'm leaving. Since you got to work early, could you clean the... <coughs> oh, shit. Could you clean the butcher shop for me? Of course I can clean. Since I'm bored anyway, dude. Do you have plans tonight? Yeah. What plans? To sleep? I thought you would say that. Anyway, I have a good job. I'm leaving. Thanks. See you, David. Bye. Bye, bro. I thought you said you were going to get laid tonight, my bro, but you're just going to sleep, bro. Oh, I thought he was going to look at me and say, I am getting laid. Why are you turning like that? Bro, you really are built like a Lego. Shit. Okay. So you want me to clean, right? Let's get it. Let's clean this. I don't even know what this is. Are people just throwing receipts? the hell is this like little bricks of cocaine what the fuck all right hey it is what it is as they say i think that's a famous albert einstein quote expect customers to arrive i don't expect anything all i expect is me being about my business anybody coming nobody's coming we are in the middle of buff up nowhere nobody's coming expect customers to arrive what the hell all right how do I put this back? Ham. I'm the only thing going ham in this hoe. Okay, let's put that back. Put that back. And... Oh, Who the fuck is that guy? Why am I a little bitch? Why do I jump like a little bitch? All right, sir. God damn you mad as hell! Good night, sir. I'll have a chug beef. All right, chug beef? You want a chug beef? Get it your damn self. Put meat on the shelf. Where the fuck do I get chug beef? Hold on. You want a chug? Oh, chug beef. All right, here you go, chug beef. Good night, sir. I'll have a chug beef. Right here, my dick. Oh, there you go. Okay, chug beef. Um, take the chug beef. All right. Did you pay? He has so much attitude. What the hell? I don't know. That's kind of pissing me off how much attitude he has. So I need to put the meat on the shelf, right? Expect customers to arrive. Okay, so no meat on the shelf yet. I just need to wait for the people to come and get their meats. VHS off? What if it's on? Oh, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm good off that. I've seen too much VHS in these video games. I'm VHS'd out. What is that? Tostitos? What is that? I don't know what kind of brand that is. I don't know these off brands. Hey, a customer! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey, ooh, ooh, hey, hey, <laughs> come on. Yeah, get over here, you ugly shit. All right, let's see if this person's mad, too. Bing bong. Yeah, you look like you got punched and your face got sucked in. What's up? Hey, man, I want a chicken. Do you have it? Do I have it? This is a store all about the meat, baby. Pork chicken. Yo, here you go. All right, have a good night, sir. You really got to fuck my shit up, fam, on the top of your head. Look at the top of his head. Doo-doo green pants ass. Okay. Stop roasting people, Jay. This is a butcher shop. 
Just get your meat and go, you know, just get your meat and go. So now I have a new objective. It says throw the trash away. This wrinkled paper just writes on itself. It's like a Harry Potter type shit. Like it's just uh, like, um, where's the trash? Oh, okay. We're going through the door Resident Evil style. That's cute. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it smells like ass. It smells like pure meaty ass. What is this shit? I better not get jump scared from this thing. I swear. That is gonna be cheap. Cheaper than this game's mom. What is this? Power box. What the hell? Aw, oh, man. I gotta go back and forth with the shits. Come on, everybody. This is not ideal. And three bags, too. So I gotta go back, then come back, throw the bag, come back. I'm being a diva right now. Like, this is my shift. Throw that away. And there's probably a customer waiting to get some meat. Probably some chopped beef again. Oh, what? Four bags? God damn it! Get back to work. That was work. I didn't throw that trash out of the kindness of my own heart. The hell are you talking about, paper? Do you want to fight? I will fight you. Expect customers to arrive. The paper told me to get back to work like the paper's my boss or something. What if it's a plot twist? The paper is actually my boss. Oh, what was that? Damn vandals? Somebody really just threw a gunshot? What the fuck? Wait. What just happened? Oh, somebody threw a rock. What the? Who the fuck throws a rock? Huh? Come out here. Come out here. I'm a beat more than me. Swear to God. Swear on mom. Swear on mom right now. What is this? That ain't shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I freaking thought. One hour later. Wow, I was out there for one hour later? Hopefully I don't get sick. I low-key have the sniffles from being out in that rain all night. <laughs> oh, there's a box. Take the meat delivery and put it in the freezer room. Okay. Give me that. Take you. Now let's go in the freezer room. That's a pretty small box for a meat delivery, wouldn't you say? Well, we're here. Let's put that in here. Oh, hide! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! What the hell? Yo, did we thoroughly kill this meat? It's still alive. Where did I put you? Oh. Okay. That's random. How come I can't move? Huh? What's going on? Open the meat box and take out the pork meat. Oh, you gotta be pork and kidding me, dude. Okay. Got the pork meat. What do I do with this pork meat? The pork do I do with this? Put the pork in the pork stock. Okay, I have no idea. This shit is porked up right now. But we gotta put the pork in the pork thing. So here, pork. Pork, pork, pork. Got it. Oops. I fucked up. Expect customers to arrive. Hopefully the next person orders pork because I already wrapped this thing. Yeah, new customer. Where are you going? Oh, you're just gonna get a soda? Why would you go into a butcher shop for a soda? Whatever, that's not my business. Just get your soda and go. I said soda, by the way. Are you coming here? Okay. Hey, man. You're brave to be working these hours with a killer on the loose. Oh, and give me some pork, please. <laughs> He's like, wow. You're so brave working these long hours with that killer on the loose. A side of chicken, please. All right. Uh, pork. There you go. Bam. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Why does that look like a face? That look like Jar Jar Binks with no skin. That shit is creeping me out. And that? Um, I know where the power is. Turn on the power at the power box. Yes. Yes, I will. You bet your sweet butchery ass I will. It's just right outside. This meat still gotta be beat. Oh no, I don't like this piano. It's not tickling me softly. Oh shit. Okay, let's do this. Got it. Put the hams in the stock. So power goes out, it's like, turn on the power box, then all of a sudden, just go back to your regularly scheduled programming. Alright, I get it. You want me to die? I'm not dying for minimum wage, I'll tell you that much. Okay, let's put the hams. Let's go. The ham. And, uh, thank you, uh, ma'am. And ba blam. I have no idea what the hell I'm even talking about. There's more ham? 
Damn, how much ham? How much ham? What the fuck? How much ham is in that basket? What the f Okay. Hey, endless amounts of ham. Jesus. Okay, that's it. What was that? What was that? I just saw something outside. <laughs> something just whizzed across the screen. My paper is telling me dot, dot, dot. Who is writing these notes? What is going on? What is... What is that? <gasps> oh, shit. That's the dude. That's the guy they tell you not to worry about. And that's me! That bitch! All right. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. That's creepy. <laughs> go! What are you doing? Go, 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 go. Let me sip on this. For good luck. What? Come out here then. Chop me up. Beat me up. Beat me up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, you look like a bitch. My son has a hammer bigger than that. Go to the back of the butchers. For what? Go to the back of the butchers for what? Huh? I should leave out the front door and never return. I'll work at Walmart or something. Oh, shit. Who's that? Did he put that ass in a body bag? Seek help. Of course, I need to seek help. What is this shit? All right. The butcher's gonna be right here. Right? What do you mean, seek help? Why don't you seek help? What the hell? This paper's telling me what to do. I do need to seek some help. Ah! What? Oh, shit. Where are you? What's that? What's that? Come on. Get in the car! What the fuck is this? Oh, I thought I saw him. Oh, God! Oh, another dead guy! Who is that? Who is anything? Telephone, telephone, telephone. 911, how may I take your call? Really? One of those telephones? Like those spinning type shits? What is this, the 1800s? Like, call the police on your cell phone or something. GPS, Apple Watch. Now what? I'm assuming they're coming. Right? My boy? I have no idea. What the hell do I do? Go back to a safer place. Where's a safer place? Definitely not inside. That is not a safer place. That is the least safe space in this hole. Alright. I guess my bottom lip is itchy. Huh. Where do I go? Whoa! The fuck? Where did your bitch ass come from? Oh! Oh my god! Thank you for playing the demo. Last game of today's episode is called Just Stopping By, and it starts off just like this. Jody is right in front of me, so let's talk to her. Good evening, Sleeping Beauty. You really slept through the whole ride, huh? I was getting hungry, so I decided to take a little stop here and buy some chips, even though this place looks shady as fuck. Hey, I heard you talking in your sleep. Didn't sound nice. Wanna talk about it? Nah? Alright, well, if you need to piss, I can wait for you. I'm just gonna go at the hotel. Public restrooms are nasty, but don't take too long. Do it, and off we go. Germany looked better on the postcards. She didn't even give me any room to talk. I was gonna tell you about my dream and what I was talking about, but you know what? Never mind. And no, I don't need to take a piss. But since you wouldn't let me talk all that shit coming out of your mouth, maybe I do. I just need to go pee. I don't want to buy anything. But I love it here. I love convenience stores at night. Where's the pee-pee room? Okay. Here's where I go pee-pee. What about poo, poo What if I want to poo-poo too? Is this where I poo-poo? The door is closed. I think I should go and ask for a key. Okay. Hold on, Jody. Give me one second. Hello. Willkommen bei Gast und... Oh, my bad. We're not used to customers that aren't from around here. Actually, we had just one now. Perhaps you are with that blonde lady? Anyway, how can I help you? You need to use the restroom. You're really brave. I think it's disgusting. It gets cleaned like once a week. 
Please make sure not to lose the keys. The last guy who took them didn't bring them back. Here, take them. No idea what that accent was. Don't even ask me in the comments because that shit just came out of nowhere, all right? But for someone who needs to go pee, I'm not moving with urgency. One second, Jody. What are you doing? Throwing up gang signs? I think Jody is low-key throwing up gang signs. Look at that. That looks like some shit that she's signaling the mafia for. Kind of weird. Anyway, there's shit stains on the wall. How the fuck are there shit stains on the wall? Like, how does that happen? All right, let's use the toilet. The moist toilet. There we go. All right. And I guess I'm not going to wash my hands because there is no water. My hands will be even dirtier after you use the sink. Oh! What the hell? Where am I? Are you kidding me? Back rooms? I just got done shaking my dick 20 seconds ago. Now I'm in the back rooms. I no clipped after I pissed. Great. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this is so random. I mean, I'm not complaining because I do love the back rooms. I do love me some back rooms. But what in the world? Okay. I guess we're not going to see Jody anymore. And I guess the keys aren't going back to the store clerk. That's probably what happened to the other guy. He didn't return the keys because after he used the bathroom, he probably no clipped into the bathroom too. Or the back rooms, not the bathrooms. That Escape Back Rooms 1998 or whatever it was, that game was legitimately terrifying. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but if you're interested in the back rooms... Girl, that's a booty that? out. Something fell out of it. It's a blue crystal? I wonder what I can do with this. Where is it? Where's the blue crystal? Are you in my possession now? You better be. I feel like I never knew about the back rooms, and then all of a sudden, it's just like an avalanche of back rooms content on the channel. Like me reacting to back rooms content. Um, I played a SCP back rooms content game. You guys remember that? My picture was in that game. What's this? A red crystal dropped on the ground. Good. And then this thing growled at me. I hope I have these things. Oh, I do. I have keys and I have two crystals. Oh, another one. This is the third crystal dropping out of these structures. A green one. I feel observed. Okay, observe this. Observe this greatness. Watch and learn. What are you talking about? I feel observed. Your mom's been observing me. Oh. Sweet. Oh. Oh, the That's a huge bitch! Holy shit, what is that? What is that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, go. Don't turn around, don't turn around. What the heck? What, what was that? I didn't even read what that said. It was so fast. I was so scared. I just kept clicking. What the? Grass is greener on the other side type shit? Whoa. All right. This does look like the dream that the guy had in the car. I clicked on that. I wonder if I had options. Lightness. Comfort. Peace. You will ascend. Does that mean I'm going to heaven? Thank you for participating. Okay. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cobb Scouts is that dude.